Hello and welcome to Sunset Seekers and thank you so much for stopping by to check out this video. Today we're at Pettit Jean State Park in Arkansas. Now if you're a subscriber of our channel you know that Arkansas is one of our favorite places in the world. We absolutely love vacationing in the state of Arkansas. So many beautiful places in Arkansas. Now Pettit Jean is a state park we've actually been to several times. The last time that we were here we did not have a YouTube channel but we're glad to be back. Uh, to share this place with you a wonderful beautiful state park i mean just look at these trees we are in loop b right now i mean this is just an absolutely gorgeous state park these beautiful tall pine trees now this is pettit jean mountain road uh, highway 154 that actually splits the state park uh, as you can see over there that is the premium sites over there that is loop a This is our site. Just a quick overview and review of our site. Here you can see the tent pad, which is nice and level. It'd be a great place to set up a tent, although you will be right here on the road. Of course, um, the highway noise actually wasn't really bad last night. Not, not too bad at all. And um, that's actually the other campsite over there. Our campsite right over here. We have a nice metal picnic table on a concrete slab. Barbecue grill right here. And then here is our fire pit. Now the site is 30 amp only and it is uh, not a sewer site so you will have to utilize your portable waste tank. It's also a, a pretty unlevel site. It seems like most of the sites over here are uh, most of the sites here are pretty unlevel. I did have to utilize a lot of leveling blocks to get this level and it seems like I've looked at a lot of these sites over here like uh, this site right over there where that fifth wheel is is very unlevel. Um, and you can see uh, we'll take a look at a couple of the sites here on the B loop. We're here for the Thanksgiving holiday this year, uh, 2020, and uh, we picked a wonderful time of the year to go. Uh, it was pretty cold last night. It got down to almost freezing, um, but it was nice and comfortable inside our rig. We're gonna leave out a couple of days after Thanksgiving, but uh, what, what a beautiful place to spend Thanksgiving. We don't intend to make this a very long video, but there is a lot to see at Pettit Jean State Park. So, first and foremost, we will take you on a short tour of the RV camping loops just to give you an idea of what the park looks like, followed by a quick jaunt down one of the many beautiful trails at the park leading to an overlook. Then we will travel down the CCC hike and bike trail until we reach the beautiful Mather Lodge. After a quick tour of the lodge, we'll check out the stunning cabins nearby and take in some of the beautiful views that can be seen from the cabin patios. Next, we'll take a look at the newly constructed visitor center, and finally, we will take you to Stouts Point and explore some of the local history to include the very interesting story of how Pettit Jean State Park got its name from a legendary character on a French expedition back in the 1700s. Now, if you're thinking about booking reservations to Pettit Jean State Park, we think you will find this to be a very informative video. So stick around, and thanks again for watching. So let's get started with the tour. We'll spend just a minute in each RV camping area to give you a feel for the park. We'll go from RV Camp Area B to Area C, followed by Area D, then we'll go across Highway 154 to check out the Dump Station and Overflow Camping Area, and finally we'll explore the premium sites in Area A.
We're entering Area C now, and this camp area has sites that are a little more secluded than the sites in Area B, and most of them quite a bit farther from Highway 154, dampening the road noise a bit. And I almost ran into a tree right there, so apparently I need to ride my bike a little more often because I seem to be out of practice. Note taken. But anyway, as I was saying, the sites in Area C are a little more off the road, but I wouldn't worry too much if the only site you can find available happens to be one of the sites that are right on the highway because traffic is pretty light on Highway 154. Now coming into view there on the left is the Area C bathhouse, and I do want to let you know that all of the bathhouse facilities that we saw at the park were very clean and well maintained. They're not the newest and fanciest we've seen, but they are more than adequate for a camper's needs. The sites down here on the cul-de-sac are the closest ones to the highway in Area B, but they're all pretty private and they have very good spacing in between the sites. Headed into Area D now, which is a big loop, I'm passing the bathhouse on the left, going clockwise around the loop. There's actually a few pull-through sites in this area. It's a beautiful camping area, just like all the other ones, but the sites do seem to be a little bit closer together in this area. I didn't have any rogue trees to worry about in my travels through Area D, but I did have a couple of dogs to contend with, like the one there on the left. Fortunately, the owners had them on a leash. You'll see the pull-through sites that I mentioned earlier, starting with this one here on the left. There are three pull-through sites in Area D. Now check out this stretch Ford F-350 here on the right. You don't see many of those around. They're towing a pretty big fifth wheel, three axles, wow. It appears to be a toy hauler. We couldn't help but gawk at this rig. Making my way around the loop, as you can see, this was an absolutely beautiful morning, but it was pretty cold. It was like 37 degrees that morning. Now here's Highway 154, and as you can see, it's not a highway that has a high volume of traffic. It's actually more like a residential street than a highway, at least it seems like that most of the time. Moving across to the dump station area here, and you'll notice that there are two parallel bays here, which is good because we've been to a lot of state parks where there's only one. We're almost done with the bike tour. Just a couple more areas to explore. We'll bike through the overflow area and then head on over to the premium sites. Now the premium sites are awesome. All but a few of them are pull-through sites. They are full hookup sewer sites and they all have 30-50 amp service. The most popular sites are the ones bordering Lake Bailey, but they are all spectacular sites. And we highly recommend booking any of the sites in Area A. Yeah, this one's just down to the overlook.
Yeah, yeah, there's a. I don't either. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, you look like you're freezing to death, so we'll go back and get your jacket. We've explored the RV camping areas and the Cedar Falls Overlook, and now we're going to head down the 1.5 mile CCC hike and bike trail. We'll pick up the trailhead here at Area B and make our way to the Mather Lodge, but before we get there, we'll see a few more sites along the way.
Mather Lodge is a must-see during any visit to Pettit Jean State Park. Built of native log and stone, the Mather Lodge holds the distinction of being the only lodge built in Arkansas by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The main dining hall is beautiful, and its huge picture windows frame the stunning views of Cedar Creek Canyon below. It's a wonderful place to see the sunrise for breakfast or to take in the dramatic sunsets for dinner. The lodge has 24 guest rooms and 33 cabins, which we'll show you a few of those later on in the video. This right here is the boathouse. Nice little access to the lake here. And you also have access to the new visitor center, which is right through here. brand new facility it's not even open yet it will be next no actually I think they said they were going to start moving everything in in December of this year but this place is massive very beautiful facility Is this place spectacular or what? Right over there, right over there is the old boathouse. And then this is the new visitor center right here. Which is just fantastic. If you keep going down that way, you'll hit the yurts. And then that is um, Camp Area A, which is the premium sites down there. But just look at this place. Brand new facility, it's not even opened yet. In fact, the park rangers were telling us that they were actually going to start moving into this place this December. And of course, again, this is Thanksgiving, this is Thanksgiving Day. Nice little fire pit right in here. That's pretty cool. A lot more space over here to pull in an RV to check in. Um, what they had before was really not very adequate. That little tiny building right up there. There's really no place to pull in an RV, you know, pretty much your only option is just to go to your site and then go to the check-in place to check in. 
because there's just not enough room but this place is massive beautiful new facility awesome Now we couldn't end this video without talking about the history behind the naming of Pettit Jean State Park. It is a fascinating story born out of legend and some would say nothing more than myth. Whether the story is true or not, the tragic end of the story is said to have taken place here at what is now known as Stout's Point where the young protagonist of the story was laid to rest. The story begins somewhere in the 1700s. Nobody knows the exact date but the story is centered around a young woman by the name of Adrienne Dumont. And the story goes that she was due to be wed to a French nobleman by the name of Chavit. But shortly before they were to be wed, Chavit was granted an expedition to explore the New World. Distraught at the news of being separated from her love, Adrienne tried everything to convince her fiancé to allow her to accompany him on the voyage, but Chavit refused her request, knowing that voyages of this nature oftentimes bring about extreme hardship, but even more than that, posed the great threat of grave danger, and he couldn't bear the thought of losing his bride on such a perilous journey so he stood firm in his refusal. Shortly before her husband was to depart for the New World, Adrienne came up with a daring plan. She cut her hair, disguised herself as a young man, and landed a post as the ship's cabin boy so that she would not be parted from her love. Her fellow sailors liked her a lot, and she quickly earned the nickname of Petit Jean, meaning Little John in French. Her true identity would remain a secret. Not even Chavit recognized her. The expedition sailed for the New World crossing the Atlantic Ocean and making its way up the Mississippi River, then further into the wilderness up the Arkansas River until arriving at this mountain where they were welcomed by American Indians. They spent the summer here exploring the new land and living the adventure of their lifetime until it was time to return home. Legend has it that just before they were to return to France, Petit Jean grew deathly ill with a fever. While she was being tended to during this time, it was discovered that she was in fact a woman. Shortly thereafter, Chavit discovered that the woman was none other than his beloved fiancé. Adrienne pleaded with her love for forgiveness as she explained the reason for her deception. During this brief reunion, Petit Jean's condition grew worse. Knowing that her death was near, her final request was to be buried high up on the beautiful point of this mountain overlooking the river. Chavit and the ship's crew buried Petit Jean here and named the mountain in memory of her. A wooden boardwalk has been erected atop Stout's Point, giving visitors a beautiful vantage point to take in the scenery. And just below, tucked in between the massive stones overlooking the eastward expanse of the Arkansas countryside as far as the eye can see, is a gravesite, said to be that of the very same Adrienne Dumont, Little John, Petit Jean. Thank you so much for watching this video and following along with us on our journey and we hope that our video has inspired you to visit Pettit Jean State Park. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to follow us on all our future journeys.